Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to discuss stacked windows specifically. So, as many of you are aware, um, there are some limitations right now with stacked windows and stacked doors. But let's go ahead and just show, I, I actually I don't think we've made a video of this before, but I'm just going to go ahead and add in a couple of stacked windows here on this other side of the wall. So as long as I um, center these windows up and they're the same size, I'm going to go ahead and bring that up a little higher. So I'm going to actually center right on this other window so they're perfectly aligned. Okay, so if they're perfectly aligned, you'll notice that the plugin automatically detects that they are stacked windows. And notice that the uh, little label for each window is aligned or offset properly. Whereas here we've got two windows that are not aligned and not the same size. And currently the uh, algorithm for the uh, stacked windows does not detect that they're stacked. So that is the current limitation of the plugin. And it will do the same thing for doors and windows as well. Um, if you stack a window and a door, you need to make sure that they're the same size. If you look on the opposite side now, um, you can see that here we have all the framing. It's taken care of. Uh, everything looks as it should. Um, you know, trimmers or cripples are being trimmed above the header. Same thing with these uh, trimmers coming down from the top window where they intersect here with the uh, header of the lower window. So again, um, as long as your stacked windows and stacked doors essentially have the same width so that the, uh, the king studs and the trimmer studs align um, as well as being centered on each other, then you shouldn't have any problems with stacked windows and doors. Unfortunately though, um, as many of you know, there are problems when they're not aligned and when they're not the same size. So, and sometimes, you know, these situations do happen where you have a window like this where it's offset or, uh, I mean, honestly, there's so many permutations that could possibly happen. And this is why um, I I really haven't come up with a good algorithm to sort through all the possibilities. I mean, this top window here could literally be offset so that it's halfway over the edge of this uh, lower window. So anyways, um, after giving that a little bit of thought tonight, I uh, thought, well, you know, I don't have a good algorithm. And honestly, I'm, it's such a messy problem. I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't even know if I ever get a good algorithm for it. But what I have done is I have a slight workaround. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys here. Sorry, I had that another window. Um, Underneath the walls tab, let's see here, we've got ourselves um, subtractive geometry under advanced options. I've just recently, uh, tonight, I've added subtractive framing. So we have subtractive geometry and subtractive framing. Essentially the same idea, um, but what this allows you to do now is, and you know, you can turn these on independently of each other um, if, if you like, and I'll demonstrate that. But what that allows you to do is basically subtract away certain framing members, okay? And as you can see here with this stacked window situation, we basically have uh, the king studs and the trimmers and the bottom cripples running through this lower window. And then the upper cripples for the bottom window running through uh, the upper window. So that really is our main concern, our main problem. The, you know, the headers are fine. The seal plate, um, the top plates, they're all fine. So what I've done is I've created a another um, feature, subtract feature, which allows you just to subtract away um, cripple studs, regular studs, headers, or not headers, sorry, trimmers, and king studs. So king studs, trimmers, uh, cripple studs, and regular studs, okay? So... What you can do is normally like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and now and show you how this works. I've already kind of gone ahead and created I'm going to, I put it all in the subtraction layer, turn that on. Okay, so I've got, and I made them uh, transparent so that you can kind of see through them a little better and see what's going on. So these two red blocks, and, and of course these um, are embedded, they're solid groups embedded within the wall assembly itself, all three of these, okay? 
And you'll notice here with the green one that I've colored green, I've, I called it subtract. You can call it subtract one, subtract two, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure the keyword subtract is there. So it's going to literally cut a hole through this wall and it's going to cut through everything. The sheathing, the cladding, the studs, whatever you, uh, you know, it will cut through everything. So now that would be useful, but in a situation like this, where I want to just cut away the studs, I don't want to cut away the sheathing and cladding. I don't want to cut away this header. And I also don't want to cut away this uh, window seal. So that is why I have this set up so that the <clears throat> framing, uh, subtract framing uh, feature, just like I said, cuts away basically those four entities within the wall. So now let's click on this. And if we click on this, notice that I've named it subtract underscore framing two. And this bottom one I've called su subtract underscore framing one. You can call them subtract underscore framing whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you could have the one in front or behind or you know some number or however you want to do that. You don't even have to put a number actually. The main thing is you just need to put the keyword subtract underscore framing. And if you do that, then the plugin understands that that solid is only going to subtract away the studs and not everything in the wall. Whereas this one will subtract everything in the wall. Okay, so that just want to make that clear so you understand how that works. Um, it's not too tricky, but just make sure your naming convention is uh, correct and that will make sure that the plugin understands what you want to do. So I carefully created these little solids and then inserted them into the wall assembly. I mean, I want to basically cut this cripple so that it's it's removed from the top of this header to the bottom of the seal, right? These two little cripples here. And then the same thing here, I want to cut the header or the king stud, the trimmer stud, and this other seal cripple at the top of the header and then at the bottom I mean, and if I want, I mean, if I actually don't want those to project down through, I guess I could do a little two. I would probably do two little uh, solids and remove them. But I'm just going to do it like this. this. This should be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's turn that on now. So in the global settings, um, let's turn on both of these. We don't have to do them both, but we're going to turn them both on. Okay. And now they should be active. So now when I regen this wall, um, those will that those new settings will take effect. Okay, so let's go ahead and regen. And it might take a little longer because it actually has to do some boolean subtraction. It's not too much lag. Granted, this computer is about ten years old, so it is getting a little dated. Okay, so it looks like uh, we got the result that we wanted. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my little subtraction layer just to hide those solids that are embedded and now we have a better situation going on here okay once again the if you use the keyword subtract it's going to take away everything notice we punched a hole right through the wall taking out the stud taking out uh, sheathing and cladding but here where we've had the subtract framing we've only removed the studs and basically we've left a clean um, framing here for uh, this these uh, non-aligned stacked windows so again this is not you know a, a true algorithm for taking care of the situation but at least now it offers you a parametric workaround that you know if you do have something you know this this sort of thing is pretty special I would say it's not typical to have windows all stacked up like this on walls but you know sometimes you do and if you need to do that um, this offers you uh, at least some sort of workaround that uh, before just simply did not exist okay um, I think that's pretty much it um, the only thing I'm going to say is uh, like I said if you do uh, stack windows and doors and they're aligned perfectly and they're centered and they're the same size you know then then you don't have to worry about any of that. It, the plugin will take care of you. Also, um, you'll notice that these dimensions, or not dimensions, labels for the window here where it did not detect they're stacked, 
Um, you know, this still is a bit of a problem. I, I'm probably going to add in a offset feature for the labels that you can do a custom offset. So I'm actually considering that. But that's something for another day here. Um, and also, uh, just to be aware, <clears throat> there was a bug uh, with the uh, plan dimensions. Let's go ahead and hide that real quick. Um, with plan dimensions, um, when you had stack windows, there was a bug where there was a duplication of the, uh, well, this, this dimension here would be the duplication. So now uh, that's not an issue. But um, yeah, I, I'll post that update here shortly. All right. Well, thank you very much. And we will talk to you guys later.